Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel guys. I am here with Cody Bear. Guys, if you're not following me on MrRendaSmithBabies.com, follow me there. That's my blog um, if you um, like to read. Um, and otherwise, if you want to see lots of pictures, then follow me on Instagram. That's where you see pictures of my babies, lots of pictures of my babies. Um, and then I have a Facebook group called Miss Serena Smith Doll Chat Club. And then, um, what else was I going to tell you guys? The main thing is follow me in the chat box, guys. I have some great things coming up. And it is now the time for you guys to join the chat box. It is $1.99 to join. And you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. And I do want you guys to be true collectors in there. So, um, that's that. I did order some of my little merch. So, I will be doing a few more, um, giveaways of my little, uh, merch, um, coming soon once it gets here. Um, I do know I have one particular person that did a huge super chat that's definitely, um, that I told I would send once it come, but I didn't want to have my orders all messed up in the midst of the crazy Christmas mail and stuff. Um, so anyway, did I tell y'all that this is Cody Bear? This is Cody Bear by Laura Tudor Ross and um, painted by myself, rooted by Sentimental Babies. And he is 24 and a half inches, because people ask me this all the time. He's 24 and a half inches. I think I will be putting my Cody on more 12 month size clothes than anything but he can wear some nine months um and it may be because i have his body to match his fat limbs so he's he's really a chunky baby um and then the other question is um a lot of people are asking me is he for sale he is not for sale i'm keeping him he is my first official prototype and i did decide that i do want to keep him in my um collection I will, however, be painting more Cody Bears. I will not duplicate this particular skin tone. This exact baby. The prototype done by me will be exclusive to me. I will not do a one like this. But I will do um, other shades. I will do light shades. Just not the exact same one. Not the exact same hairstyle. You know. But similar things. Which... You guys see he never got his hair done. I end up just really liking him with his fro. And I never did anything to it. But his hair is funny because his hair actually acts like most biracial babies. And when I say act, I mean like the texture, the feel, the, the look um, is pretty cool. But, um, I was going to do his curls so that his hair, like, so I could give him that curl in his face, like, the real baby Cody have on some of his pictures, because I was going to do him a photo shoot where he's actually wearing stuff that the real Cody wore so but I just haven't got to that um his little shirt I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm sure you guys seen it on pictures his t-shirt and his bib is made by Pat Green which is from um doll doll makers or Pat Doodles on Etsy and um She's been making a little bit of a lot of my little clothes for my little one. So I'm going to be, um, but I'm going to be using her a lot for my t-shirts and my onesies now. Um, unfortunately, the other lady just, um, hadn't been able to, um, keep up uh, with her orders and I think she said she wasn't going to be taking orders um, on custom clothing 
so I don't know um but yeah so anyway so I that's who I'm using Pat Green now and um there was something else I was gonna tell you oh I don't know how to put this but I'm expecting a silicone baby boy I've decided that I'm gonna keep him but it's not he's he's not just so y'all know he's not done yet um and I ended up one I'm not gonna say who or whatever just in case they told their friends and they don't want their friends to know what's going on with them because I don't know what their story is I know how as collectors do we like to be like boom surprise type thing but one of my customers um is not keeping their their blank and so I end up I'm gonna get their blank baby so I'll be having a boy silicone baby and so I am officially expecting so as soon as I finish up these next three orders oh, I can't believe I'm so close um when I finish up these next three I got rooting I'm almost there's like this much of the this much of the, the the hair and then like on this side a little bit more and like you know right in the front I got left to do like I got all the back and up the sides like for the most part rooted it's just getting that last bit but you know you can't I don't want to make it pluggy or anything like that. So I'm taking my time with it and trying to, you know, I'm moving as fast as I can without making it. I don't want it to be all pluggy and looking crazy. So I'm almost there. And then I just have um, two full bodies and one partial left. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> and then I can start working on my babies. Um, you guys know I got an AA um, birdie that I plan to do. And then I have, like I said, my little boy now. And I have an Alex. And I want to always keep an Alex in my collection. So I want to have at least one Alex in my collection. Um... But y'all know how it is. I'm one of those collectors, unfortunately, that just don't don't keep their babies forever. Seem like I'm trying. I as much as I want to, it just don't always seem to work out. I do, however, have some babies that I have kept and been here for years. Some of them which you guys have never met before. And I guess that's why it probably seems weird to you guys. But I do have a private collection. Of babies that I have kept and never sold um, and I do have some of these that will not go even though y'all don't might not believe it um, they will not go um, baby Ada like she will never go out of here um, she was a very special baby um, done for me and I will never let her go and um, Lily Grace, I will never let her go. Um, it feels like as much as I've tried to sell Micah a couple times, I put him up like two times, and I can't let him go either, seem like. But I don't know, you know, sometime when I do that. But I did that to Paris, believe it or not. I put Paris up for sale about two or three times one time, one year. And, I, and then I, I didn't sell it. So, and she's been here for, what, eight years now? So, um, I do have some babies that I keep for a while, but I do admire the collectors that buy babies and they never sell any of their babies. To me, y'all are the real collectors, the real, real collectors that I inspire to be. Um, definitely have admiration for you guys. And I don't know about other people, but I don't get bored watching people that have the same babies in their 
their uh, collection for years and years at a time. And I'm gonna tell you why. I don't get bored unless they're boring. Now, if they're boring and they got the same baby, then yeah, there's no purpose of me watching. If they're boring and they still they get lots of different babies, then I can watch because I want to see what else they're going to get. But if you just boring child and you got the same babies, we going we ain't going to make it. So that's you know, that's my thought process on it. I know some of you guys be like, "It's okay if you keep the same babies." We'll still watch. That's not why I get rid of them. I get rid of them because I buy too, too many dang on expensive babies. And I will be honest, it could be the one, it could be one little thing, one little thing about a baby that nags at me. And as soon as I have an opportunity to get something that I think is going to be better, think, keyword, um, I go for it. And sometimes it don't work out. Sometimes I'll be like, dang, I might as well stuck with what I had. I don't really care for this one as much either. Or this one got this same issue. Or da 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 So, you know, it happens. But guess what? You only live once, baby. So I just do what I do. But, um, you know, that's my thing. I think when, I, when you collect on your pay grade... <laughs> Cody, did mama say pay grade? She did, didn't she? <laughs> um, when I when I collect on babies that I truly can't afford, it's easier for me to keep them than it is um the ones that I'm buying that's more than what I should be paying on a baby. Because if it's within what I can afford, then when I find another baby, it'll be within what I can afford too. And it'll just take me a little bit time to get it, but I'll end up getting it. So if that makes sense. So that's that's the thing, the key thing. If you're a collector that collect very expensive dolls and you really can't af shouldn't be affording to buy those dolls, you can't buy multiple of those. I'm not, you know, some people got money some people got, you know, family riches. You know, I don't, I don't have that. I'm just a regular old ordinary chick that like to collect dolls and got expensive taste. And that's what, you know, that's what, what I do. But um, I am finding that I do still love, I love my kits. I love collecting the kits and painting them for myself. And I am very much back into my reborns i don't know but i think i am definitely in 2021 gonna be collecting way more reborns than i do silicone i will still collect some of the silicone kits but i'm telling you guys i am so back into my reborns and it feels so good because i can afford the reborns and somebody made a comment as in like oh you talk about expensive babies but you sell your babies for you know xyz um, it don't matter what I sell my reborns for, they do not equate to what my silicone babies cost. And for one, yes, I'm going to sell my babies for whatever I feel like selling them for, what I feel like they're worth, because I know that I've seen stuff out on the market that's 10 times higher than what I sell my babies for, and they're doing way less on the dolls. And some are doing way more. So... I'm not knocking no one, but I know for a fact that people pay seven, eight thousand dollars for certain reborns that is just basic. I'm not gonna say basic, basic like that, but you know what I mean? Like there's no extra bells and whistles, but we are caught up in the name and they hit that skin tone nicely and we just go with it. And so yeah, if I'm sitting here putting in my time and I'm specializing in certain things on my babies and I feel like they're worth, you know, whatever price, that's what I'm going to do. And it's just going to be up to the collector if they feel that it's worth it too, just like I do. When I buy from other artists, if I feel like they're worth 
work is worth what they're asking, I buy it. If I don't, I don't buy it. I move on. And that's not just one blanket answer. It's like, you may do this, baby. I might think, mm -mm, that ain't worth it to me. Then that same artist might do another, baby. I'd be like, yes, 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 baby. I want that one. It can be the same price as the last one, but it's something about that one that was worth it for me. So we determine the worth on what we spend. You know, all these videos where people be like, oh, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that. Um, I'm not doing this. I'm doing that. They just telling their opinions. They just telling y'all how they feel from their perspective. You know, they're just telling you what's worth it to them. That don't mean you have to adapt their concept. It's the same as me. Just because I might say a such and such doll ain't worth this to me. Don't mean you have to feel the same way. You have your own opinions. If it's your style, because here's the thing. You might not like ugly babies. I might like ugly babies. And to you, an ugly baby ain't worth jack. But to me, an ugly baby is worth everything. So when when creators or or uh, what are we called? Not creators. What are we called? Yes, we are. Whatever youtubers or facebookers or whatever they're sharing their opinions and they're giving their thoughts it's their thoughts they're just telling you from their perspective their views you know um so yeah but anyway how did i get on that but we finna go cody we finna go tell them bye say bye period pool it's the lowlands for me <laughs> that's my new slang it's slow it's not slang slogan it's the Lola's for me. He's so nosy. He keep looking up. He like, it's a camera up there. I want to see. What is them people's doing up there? Huh? He said, what is them people's doing up there? You trying to see? 